The International Space Station, or ISS, has been humanity's outpost in space for over two decades, a symbol of global cooperation and scientific discovery. Orbiting 400 kilometers above our planet, it's hosted astronauts from around the world, advanced our understanding of science and inspired generations to look up and dream bigger. But the ISS is aging. Years of exposure to the harsh environment of space, radiation, micrometeoroids, and extreme temperatures have worn down its structure and systems, making it increasingly difficult and expensive to maintain. Despite excellent maintenance and the dedication of international crews, the cost and risk of keeping it running are rising fast. Each year, more resources are needed just to keep the station safe and operational. NASA and its partners have decided the ISS will retire around 2030, making a controlled descent into the Pacific Ocean, where it will safely burn up and sink beneath the waves. This isn't just an ending. It's a responsible transition, preventing the ISS from becoming dangerous debris that could threaten other satellites or future missions in low Earth orbit. But we can't lose our presence in low Earth orbit. We need a new platform for research, technology development, and a growing space economy, one that can support more people, more experiments, and new industries in space. The future? Commercial space stations, owned and operated by private companies, with NASA and other agencies as customers, renting space and services for their missions. This shift will drive innovation, lower costs, and let NASA focus on deep space, like returning to the moon, exploring Mars, and pushing the boundaries of human exploration farther than ever before. The stage is set for a new era, and leading the charge is Axiom Space, a company building the next generation of space habitats and modules. The ISS's retirement isn't the end, it's the beginning of a new chapter in space, a handoff to the next wave of explorers and innovators. Private industry will take the baton, ensuring humanity's continuous presence in orbit and opening space to more people than ever before. The next generation of space habitats is coming, more advanced, more accessible, and more ambitious than anything we've seen. And Axiom Space is at the forefront building the future of living and working in space. Enter Axiom Space, a company founded by space veterans with a bold vision for the future of humanity in orbit. Among its founders is Michael Sufredini, the former ISS program manager, who brings decades of experience and leadership from NASA. Their ambitious goal, to build the world's first commercial space station, a platform open not just to governments, but to researchers, companies, and even private citizens seeking to experience life in space. The challenge was immense, raising significant funds, overcoming daunting technical hurdles, and convincing investors to back a bold, long-term plan that would take years to realize. Axiom proved itself by organizing private astronaut missions to the ISS, partnering with SpaceX's Crew Dragon to send non-government astronauts into orbit, these groundbreaking missions built trust with partners, generated crucial revenue, and demonstrated that the commercial model for spaceflight could truly work. Their success led to a pivotal moment. NASA selected Axiom to build the first commercial modules for the ISS, marking a new era of public-private partnership in space. This partnership gave Axiom not only credibility and funding, but also direct access to the station, accelerating their progress. Now, Axiom is building the first piece of its future station, laying the foundation for a new era in space habitation and commercial activity in orbit. The company's careful, step-by-step -step approach is transforming the dream of a private space station into a tangible reality, one milestone at a time. Axiom's journey is proof that commercial spaceflight is not just a passing trend. It's here to stay and growing stronger every year. The future of living and working in orbit is no longer just a government project, it's becoming a thriving industry, open to innovation and new possibilities. It's a business, and it's happening now, with new opportunities emerging for people and companies around the world. Axiom Space is leading the way, shaping the future of humanity's presence in space. Axiom's plan is smart, build the new station piece by piece, using proven methods and innovative thinking to ensure each step is reliable and safe. The journey starts with the Axiom Hub 1, also known as the Power, Propulsion, Thermal, and Module, or PPTM. This module is the backbone of the new station, providing essential power, cooling, and control for all future modules that will follow. Built in Houston, it's assembled with incredible precision, packed with advanced systems, and rigorously tested to meet the highest standards of safety and performance. Once ready, 
the module will be carefully loaded onto a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, launched into orbit, and then docked to the ISS's Harmony module. Astronauts will use the station's robotic arm to attach it, a delicate but well-practiced maneuver that requires teamwork and precision. At first, the PPTM will draw power from the ISS, instantly adding new space for experiments, research and living quarters for the crew. Most importantly it becomes the anchor point for the rest of the Axiom station, setting the stage for future expansion. This approach cleverly uses the ISS's existing infrastructure to support its successor, ensuring there's no gap in our continuous presence in orbit. It's like building a modern extension before the old house is retired, so the transition is smooth and nothing is lost. The first piece of the future will be physically and symbolically connected to the legacy of the past, bridging two eras of space exploration. This gradual step-by-step -step transition is key to a seamless handover, minimizing risk and maximizing continuity. The journey to a new space station begins with this single module, a small step that marks the start of a bold new chapter in human spaceflight. The first module is just the start. Next comes Axiom Hub 2, a habitat with private crew cabins, a galley, and modern comforts. Then, the research and manufacturing lab, packed with cutting-edge tech for science and in-space manufacturing. These modules will offer state-of-the-art facilities, from 3D printing to drug development, and even a panoramic cupola for Earth views. While attached to the ISS, Axiom will run private astronaut missions, test systems, and build a customer base. When the ISS retires, the Axiom segment will detach and become a fully independent private space station. With its own power and life support, it will be self-sufficient and ready to lead in science, commerce, and exploration. This step-by-step -step expansion guarantees a smooth transition. Humanity's home in orbit will continue, stronger than ever. Comparing Axiom Station to the ISS shows just how far we've come. The ISS, designed in the 80s and 90s, is cluttered and utilitarian. Axiom's modules, designed by Philippe Stark, are open, comfortable, and smartly lit. Flexibility is key. Axiom's interiors can be reconfigured for science, business, or tourism. The commercial model spreads costs, making access to space more affordable for everyone. Axiom's efficiency and modern tech dramatically lower operational costs. NASA benefits, too, buying only the services it needs, freeing up resources for deep space. The result? A vibrant multi-user space ecosystem, not just a government monopoly. Axiom Station is a leap forward, modular, adaptable, and built for the future. It's the next step in making space accessible to all. The era of commercial space habitats has arrived. A new station needs new spacesuits, and Axiom is delivering on that promise with innovation and expertise. The Axiomu suit, built for NASA's ambitious missions, is lighter, more flexible, and fits a wider range of astronauts than ever before. It's designed for both spacewalks and lunar exploration, featuring advanced joints and a rear entry hatch for easy, efficient use in challenging conditions. High-definition cameras and powerful lights help astronauts work in the harshest, most demanding environments imaginable. The suit's fit is inclusive, supporting a diverse astronaut core and enabling more people to participate in space exploration. Prototypes have been tested in vacuum chambers and underwater labs, simulating the extreme conditions of space and lunar surfaces. The final version will be all white, reflecting heat on the moon and helping astronauts stay cool during long missions. This next-gen suit is essential for safe, effective exploration on the station on the moon and far beyond. Why does Axiom's work matter? It's more than a new station or suit. It's a shift in how humanity approaches space. Commercial companies are making space accessible for research, business, and innovation. Axiom Station will open microgravity labs to more people, accelerating breakthroughs in medicine materials and technology. The technologies developed here will pave the way for missions to the moon and Mars. Low Earth orbit is our testbed for becoming a multi-planetary species. Axiom is building the infrastructure for the next era of exploration. This is progress, building on the ISS legacy and opening new frontiers. The dawn of a commercial cosmos is here, and the possibilities are limitless.